This is how we've paid for wildlife in this country since Teddy Roosevelt and the conservation movement. This is why we have animal populations as high as they are. This is why animals made it this far in history, because of you and me. We paid for it. That's why we have our animals back that were close to extinction. We always talk about the ecological side of hunting on the segment and how important it is for wildlife, but how important is it for society and what's the economical impact of this great heritage? There's so many little towns like Allagash, like Patton, like Marion, Michigan, not just Maine, but these towns are dependent on the sport of hunting. How does hunting affect you and your lifestyle? What's the effect on your town? If it's a town like Allagash, your livelihood, your life, depends on hunting and outdoor resources. All those folks out there looking for rocking chair, AllagashWoodProducts.com. Roy Gardner, right? You've been here forever. Been here forever, yeah. I was here. born in that house over there. You were born right there. So you've literally <laughs> yeah. been here your whole life. Whole life, yeah. And you started in the 50s, you said, I as started as... guiding after I got out of the service, 1954. I've had a lot of fun in the woods. I've had a lot of fun with hunters. You uh, have retired officially as a guy, yeah. but you still have the camp so people can rent. Yeah. And that's another important thing, I think, is Allagash has lots of self-guided, do-it-yourself type opportunities because of guys yeah. like you. I got one camp to hold 11, I got one to hold 7, I got one to hold 3, 4, and I got three houses by you. You've been guiding for how long? About 20 years now. 20 years? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good career in the yeah. business. Yeah. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm talking with one of the Kelly boys. The Kellys yep. have a well-known name in the state of Maine, I think worldwide as far as being guides and outfitters. I've got a party that's been coming, I think, 36 years fishing. There's all kinds of stuff to do here. It's a long ways away from everybody. A lot of deer. Yeah. Well, that's good. And again, Maine, oh, all yeah. this herd in the nation, right? Yeah. You guys get some slammers. Well, and it's obvious to me that people have been coming back for 36 years. <laughs> You're doing something right. This is, oh, well, is a fun opportunity. We try to, you try to make them happy. Yeah. You know. Famous for brook trout. Still is. Yeah. Um, an exceptional year this year with the trout fishing, fly rodding, and everything. I got uh, a stack of books, you know, where people registered. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many thousand I have. It's, it's really a unique place, the town of Allagash and the region and the, the topography and, and we're, we're at the end of the road. Well, the remoteness of yep. Allagash is really unique to start yep. with. I've hunted out here all day, many days and never seen nobody. And the town history and the logging history that's here really creates a great environment, whether you're here on a hunt or here on a vacation. It's, uh, it's been a good life. Yeah. Can't complain. Yeah. All of what we do as hunting guides and fishing guides is what we bring to uh, the region. Sure. The, uh, the amount of uh, the revenue. Actual, the yeah. revenue that comes and the trickle down from what we yeah. bring it. So everybody benefits. Yeah, and like you say, like you, not, you, you, know, you so. stop in Kittery to buy a gun yep. just to say you bought one at the Kittery Trading yep. Post. You've been and there, yeah. Then you can go to L.L. Beans or Cabela's or yep. the, the whole state is enthralled with outdoor activities and, yep. and organizations, businesses like that, yep. all the way up through Allagash. Yep. You're absolutely right. The yep. economic value of that, of yep. not just for Allagash, but for the whole state of Maine, is yep. enormous. Come to Allagash. <laughs> <laughs> or we got trouble.